Jake and, carrying him, ran through the house that was falling apart around them. It moaned like a ship in heavy seas. Claire rushed out into the still night, ran to the car, an old Audi, and threw Jake in on the passenger seat like he was a bag of potatoes. Then she got in after him and started the car. At this point, Jake surrendered completely to not being in charge of anything anymore. As they pulled out into the gravel road, Jake looked into the rearview mirror and saw the old house for the last time. It was shaking violently with bluish light beamed out through the windows of the first floor as if there was a wild party going on. And then reality rippled and the ground swallowed up the house in a flash of light. They drove and drove and drove all through the night. Claire smoked until she was out of cigarettes, but Jake didn't mind. It was nice that for once, someone else was in charge. Especially someone like Claire, who Jake quietly decided was much cooler than even the strippers he'd seen on TV. When Claire got too tired to drive, she just pulled to the side of the road, and she and Jake fell asleep, holding each other tightly, both of them crying a little while the sun climbed up over the field. When they were awoken a few hours later by the sound of approaching police sirens, Jake jerked up in his seat and realized that he had slept against Claire's arm. The folds in her leather jacket had traced their perfect red likeness on his cheek. You have been listening to Jake's Dad by Lars Kromhoft. My name is Chuck Briggs. And on behalf of Mark Slade and the rest of the Dark Dreams podcast, good night. I say every house in America should have an electric chair. And every man just once in his life should sit in it, just so that he can feel the power of millions of gallons of electricity flow through his veins. I got an electric chair, that's all I need. You get an electric chair, Sheldon, you don't have to worry about the audience. You get an electric chair, you can tell them anything you want, as long as it's real. You get yourself an electric chair, and they'll sit there all night long. Kind of a funny idea, sitting in an electric chair and doing a show. Well, think of the therapeutic value of an electric chair, and all the money it is. Yes, sir, an electric chair in a free home. The Electric Chair, a show about horror. ElectricChairShow.com Electric Chair Wow